Okay, so now as we're working this back hip, I want you to think about, or I want to add a layer where you actually have to stop doing something and then do that. So right now we just worked on color, isolated environment, feet set, everything's perfect, right? So all I'm going to have you do is just lightly, like 25% jog down this line, this fast, okay? When I say throw, you're going to get your feet set because you got momentum going backwards now. You're going to get your feet set and you're gonna coil and uncoil, and I want you to either finish here or finish carrying back towards your target, okay? So you're gonna be right here, you're gonna jog this fast, this is what a rep looks like. Here you go, you ready? We're gonna be here, clap. But look at my finish, right? I wanna, coil, I wanna, I wanna bring my back hip through so much that I can't actually just finish right here, okay? So you clap. Cool? Yeah, or I'll say throw, doesn't matter. Go ahead, throw. Don't worry, this isn't hot potato. Like, yeah. right, this is get your feet set, get back to here. Yeah. But as soon as that back foot hits, the sequence is right when my back foot hits to throw, my hands come apart and when what happens next? No, before that? Step. Left foot get up and down, back hip comes through and then it comes in. So this is essentially a rubber band. Yeah. Okay. This is a giant rubber band. The more muscles you grow, the bigger, thicker the band gets. Gotcha. Right? Yep. Punk little high school kid, you five years ago, pretty thin rubber band, right? That's right? That shit will snap. As you get bigger, stronger, it just gets thicker. That's all. We want this to get put on stretch. Okay. I haven't even started talking about this yet, but when you get your front foot up and down and we bring this back hip through, look what that does to your upper body. Think about the stretch that that puts on your upper body. That's great. Yeah. I want all of this stretched the hell out because then when I bring this back hip through, this becomes a whip. All of this is on stretch. And if those are big, strong muscles, now it's just about sequencing it out to where it comes through the same way every single time. I watch Ricky Fowler play golf. He hits the ball 330. I don't. He's like 155 pounds. His sequencing, timing, it all, when he misses, he misses it right down the middle and he just hits it like 60 yards short. It doesn't miss right or left, right? They don't hit balls out of bounds. Yeah. So with us, it is the same thing. It's sequencing, but I want to get everything organized first. But then we get to the point where we just put that on stretch. So you're just going to jog, get your feet set here. But as soon as this, you get that last step down, my foot hits, my hands come apart, short front stride, bringing the back hip through. Devin, you want to hop in every other one? Go ahead. So, how tall were you? I was short. Five, what, seven? Five, six?